Tis the season for all things spooky, but one local scientist is debunking the myth of bats one step at a time. CBS LA's Joy Benedict takes us on a bat walk to better understand the winged mammals. Tis the season of spooky, but one traditional hallowed hunter may be getting a bad rap. We have a bat right here right now. As the bat is more helper than haunter. I've never seen bats around LA, so I was excited that, like, confirmed we saw some bats around here. Courtney Best signed up for a bat walk along the LA River in Frogtown. It's crazy how small they are. It's a nighttime tour blaring the bat signal as tens of thousands of the winged mammals roost in LA County. Fall is when bats are reproducing. The tour guide bat biologist Joey Curdy. As the night goes on, we'll start to hear more of our smaller species. He sat down with us before the tour to share his passion. I had a bat rehabber come into my middle school classroom and she just led a bunch of educational bats out and they kind of crawled around and we got to see them up close. For him, it was love at first sight. When you see them up close, it's like um, it takes your breath away. They're beautiful. Curdy is a postdoc fellow doing research on our native species, which he says are literally everywhere. This is the Mexican free-tailed bat. Oh, he is cute. He's got little fluffy ears like a Labrador. Los Angeles is home to more types of bats than anywhere in the state. We have this bat right here. <laughs> Roosting under bridges in trees and your home. A silver-haired bat, Lazarus Noctivagens. But he says despite their spooky they stigma, like they don't want your blood or really anything to do with you at all. There are 1,500 species of bats in the world. Three of those are vampire bats. The bats around town eat mostly insects and are crucial for all kinds of crops. Did you know that tequila comes from agave plants, which are primarily pollinated by bats? We wouldn't have tequila without bats. He says although they can bite, they rarely spread rabies. Most years, there are actually zero cases of rabies that are caused by bats in people. If you listen closely, you'll hear them or see them as they're frequently confused with birds. Oh, here we go. So the next time you see a nighttime flyer, don't go batty, be thankful. This Mexican free tail bat actually coming in quite close. As that dark streak in the sky is actually helping our city shine. Joy Benedict, CBS LA.